You're not missing something, are you? What do you want, Nigel? I thought you might be missing something. Like this. These are yours, I believe. But these, beyond a doubt, never were. I don't suppose there's much I can say, is there? I don't know. Try me. All right. Well, for years now I've taken the attitude that there was only one struggle on this planet worth a damn. The fight against world communism. And it has long seemed to me ridiculous that the most committed anti-communists in the southern hemisphere, the South Africans, should be excluded from NATO planning because of some unfashionable domestic attitudes. So was this your idea? Or did someone approach you? I met someone at a party. Or did he meet you? Jan Murray. Seems our secret service is up to scratch. Just what exactly have you been passing him? It would be awfully helpful to know. I gave him any relevant documents to NATO that crossed my desk. NATO. Mm-hmm. Well, I hope they didn't pay you in cash, Berenson. The Rand's taken a bit of a dive lately. I didn't do it for money. I did it because I believed it was right. A man of principle to the last. You can bloody well sneer, Irvin. But perhaps I'm more of a patriot than you are. You may be interested in this. It's an extract from the debriefing of a recent Soviet defector, which pinpoints a Soviet agent in the South African Foreign Service. And this is a summation of the South African internal investigation, which identifies the man as one Jan Marais. Oh, my God. <laughs> You've betrayed your country. You've passed untold numbers of secrets to Moscow and endangered the lives of British men and women. And I'd say you've weakened NATO, perhaps irretrievably. Oh, my God. Just you and your schoolboy politics and your idiotically conceited faith in your own importance. <laughs> 